Hey guys, what is going on? It's Prime with you from the Game Company, and we are playing more XCOM 2. So we had a fun last mission the last episode. If you missed it, definitely check it out. We got the the Snake King down to like 1 HP, and then he ran away, which is fine, because that means the next time we face him, all we have to do is 3 damage to him, unless his armor um, doesn't regenerate, or he gains more armor, and he'll be dead. So, yay us. Also, we succeeded in the mission. So, one thing we didn't do at the end of the last episode was promote our spark. Uh, I wanted to go back in the comments and I got a comment a couple episodes ago from a guy named B Sunday who gave me a bunch of kind of hints on good paths to follow on the um, the spark and he suggested going Rainmaker which is what I was already thinking um, basically he said strike is pretty terrible and I don't really want to melee with him mostly because I'm using him a for cover but B since he can't take any cover himself I kind of want to keep him a little bit further back so he doesn't get shot as much but in addition to that I love when heavy weapons do damage and have increased area of effects. Like, I love me my grenades. Like, my grenades are, like, my favorite thing in the world. So having a rocket launcher, you know, with increased range is just awesome. Also does plus two damage, which is great at, like, you know, just killing the low-level guys that sometimes mob up on us. So he's got one day left um, before he's healed. Um, everyone else is perfectly healthy right now, so we're doing good on that. Um, we're out of money right now. So... By the way, can you build me more armor and scale? How do we build more sparks? It was, I think it's in, I think it's in the Gorilla Tactics School, isn't it? No. Oh, it's in the building I don't have yet. So, yeah, okay. We still have the Advanced Warfare Center going on. Um, and I guess we're okay with that for the time being. Um, we didn't get any of the bonus abilities quite yet, it seems, so we're fine. My mouse is a little laggy right now. <sighs> Did I get, like, hair in there? <laughs> it's weird. Whatever. Well, let's go up here. Yeah, see, now it's fine. Okay. So, after our recent success, members of Resistance have brought us report we can get more rookies. Uh, I am okay with that. Um, is that all we have to do right now? N we also have to get the Black Sight. Yeah, I'm not going to do the Black Sight yet. I'm still trying to get a little bit higher level. Um... There was nothing, yeah, okay, so there's nothing really at the black side, I think, for us to do. We have a decent amount of money right now. We also now have the ability to have all six people on our mission, which is freaking awesome. So having more rookies to go with us will be great. I don't really care about that so much. Um, my first playthrough, we took it really slow, and we're fine, so. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, you say that, but at the same point, I also don't want to find myself in a situation where we're fighting gate gateways at, like, level one. All right. Oh, okay, good. I thought he was going to complain to me. So we got two new staff. We can get them at the Resistance HQ. We got monthly income. Uh, sounds good. So what are they looking to do? A UFO hunts the Avenger. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that is, oh, that was one of the worst missions I ever did. The aliens improved their threat. Reinforcements and all gorillas. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do 25. That's fine. Uh, or they get more alloy. Ugh, those are all terrible. Um, I guess we gotta go get our supplies. Sure. Sure. We can't really build anything. But then again, more supplies will be good, so we can actually build. Because we're currently clearing out two different areas. So... Well, that was quick. Commander, we've received word that the aliens oh, okay. have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. Well, we know the direction we're going to next now, at least. Um, so let's go back to our supplies. Ew, I want to do this, please. Thank you. <sighs> supplies plus 48. We gotta remember, we did beat the game on this difficulty, so I don't really necessarily need to rush it any quicker than I did last time. Um, also, heck yes! Ah, that's exciting! Uh. Just being able to, like, kill the low-level mobs quicker is freaking amazing. I am, I am stoked for this. This was definitely worth rushing. Um, oh, hells yeah. Hell... Yeah, and it's good that we have all this extra. I'm glad I. Ooh, okay, that's cool. We can actually enhance these. I was wondering about that. Shard again. 
Magnetic rifle, stun launcher. Okay. We can now research everything. Um, I think I want to do the Viper first. Plated armor is good because that's going to be more armor. Um, psionics. Ooh. The Gauss is going to be for the sniper. This might actually even be for my heavy. No, nah, it's just the sniper and a cannon variant. That's eight days. Psionics, so I can get a psionic, might just be the best. Well, actually, this is instant, so let's take care of that. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Um, so we get the arc blade and the ionic axe. Hey, that's nice. So, do we have to spend money to upgrade these? I wonder. I think we need to rush psionics. I don't care about the radio still. I think we rush psionics. Stemming from this technology. Um, and actually, no, no, back up, back up. Let us check out Engineering Bay. Um, build items, weapons. <sighs> so, this is going to use a lot of freaking supplies. Okay, so what's going to be most important? Most, the, the magnetic rifle is being used. Alright, let's think about this for a second. Only one person's using my magnetic rifle, although probably a second because we're going to start taking rookies with us. Okay, our pistols no one uses because the only person with the pistol is using the Shadow Keeper. Our arc blade's not being used by anyone. Um, it'll just be the axe, the iconic axe, ionic axe, sorry. What does this do? Incredibly dangerous melee, okay. The rail cannon is the heavy? No, no, this is my spark one. That one might be worth it. And the shotgun might be worth it as well. But those do the most damage. So let's do this. Let's drop our supplies here. Um, and then what? Maybe the shadow keeper because we're using this a lot and it's not doing a lot. Well, let's see. Okay, 75, 65. Man, 65 and 45 can't do... 60 if we do the 45 we can't do anything else so we can only do one other one so the bolt caster i don't think i want to upgrade the damage on it because the stun is awesome i think i'm going to do the shadow keeper because it's by far the weakest one i have it only does two to three damage and we're using the crap out of it right now and we can shoot it a whole lot so i think that is probably my biggest value um can't do mimic beacon yet that's fine let's back out did we finish getting all of my supplies? No, we didn't. Good. Commander, to aid in your efforts, Commander, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters. Let's check it out. I don't think I'm going to spend my money. 100 supplies? Nah. Probably not. Welcome, Commander. Scanning bonus. So, scientist and a ranger. Nah. I mean, the scientist would be probably really good right now, but no. Just Let's come to engineering one more time. Commander. Build items. We do need to save some money because we're finishing the facility, but these will add eh, seven days. You, nah, we'll have something before then. Okay, so what will be next? Iconic axe, maybe. Probably the shard gun. Probably the shotgun. Because I like me my shotgun. More than the iconic ionic axe, yeah, because this is more valuable than that. Um, I can't do the rail rail cannon, and I probably am going to do that one last simply because. He misses a lot anyways, so I think our order is going to be shard gun, bolt caster, then probably rail, then ionic. So, shard. And I think we're good for now. Let's go get our rookies. Maybe the game will actually let us have our rookies? That would be nice. I wish you could, like, lose contact with the region. <laughs> like, after I do this mission, I don't really need them. We might go do this here in a minute. We'll have to see what we get for our next mission. Commander, with the number of contacts we've Supplies, yes. Getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, Balls. we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. As much as I hate to say this, I think our supplies are worth it. I don't care about the reinforcements. That to me is very minor. Um, 
That UFO mission's gonna be terrible, though. But I think I think we're gonna have to do the UFO at some point. And I suppose the earlier on, the less danger. I don't know. Let's just do this one for the supplies because I need to upgrade my weapons. And let's just try leveling as many people as possible. Because when that UFO hunts us, we're going to need as many people as possible. So let's take a, probably a rookie or two on the mission with us. Um, McLean is back. So I think... Let's take McLean. Uh, well, we probably have to tell him to go away first. And do we have any rookies? Oh, no. Everyone's actually leveled up. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, maybe take a second specialist because they're going to have the powerful gun. Because let's look, let's look at it this way. The Grenadier is still going to have the basic gun. The Ranger will have the better shotgun. So we could take two Rangers with us. And then one can be... Eh, that's just... I think I'd rather do the guaranteed damage. The second sharpshooter wouldn't be bad either, but I think I'm going to take two specialists with me. And this is not normally how I would play this, but I think it'll be okay. Um, let's make weapons available. Let's make armor of now. Let's make utility items available. And I think we're going to give you my frost bomb. And I like that he can do guaranteed damage. That's something we want to use in the future. Um... Normally, this is where I take two heavies with me, but we do have the rocket launcher here, so that's where I'm kind of like okay with not doing that. You need the hunter's axe. You're using the better pistol, correct? Yep. You have the health packs, grenade, flash, double grenade. I think we're okay. We probably don't even need this, but whatever. Because I'm thinking if we're if if we only have to deal with the snake, we're fine not using that. You got that weapon. You got what? What shotgun are you using? You're using the shard gun, which is better. That does six to eight, so we're good there. You have the basic sniper, basic. Oh yeah, no one would be using this. That's interesting, I bought that, and I didn't think about that. I almost should give... Yeah, yeah, that actually be smarter for us. Or even my sniper. Probably not, though. The sniper's really good. So, can we give you the magnetic rifle? And can we give you... No, dang it. Can the, so, ah, dang, that sucks. Because that would be really valuable if I could give it to either of them. And you can't do it either. So, I probably shouldn't have done the shotgun then, looking at it. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's give you the bolt caster again. Man, it's funny that none of us are actually using magnetic weapons. Ah, uh, So do I want to drop? Nah, I don't want to drop my sniper. Do I want to drop you? And bring... I mean, we could do that. Is my spark better? Pro I don't know. We'll see. I guess let's go here. I don't know my spark's really better right now, but my spark will be better long term, so... I also need to customize my spark, I've not done that yet. Uh, I made a bad mistake, I think, on this mission. Yeah, I should've... I shouldn't have bought the magnetic weapons, I should've bought something else first. But, eh, we'll be fine. The other thing, the one thing that's going to be nice about this mission, though, is it'll give us more credits. Um, more credits are going to allow us to build more buildings, and we should hopefully then be able to build the psionic building here soon. 
What are we doing? Neutralize all enemy targets. Recover tissue sapu. There is a time. Also, can I say something? There's a turret. You know what's really good against turrets? Uh, where is it? Oh, he only has eight protocol. Freaking heck! <laughs> uh, he doesn't have the level two yet. Um, still, he'll be really good when I can level him up. Okay, so who do we want to run out here? Nicholas, probably not. Probably not my Spark either. Probably not Cat. I guess Coyote though. We'll put you right here. This should be a pretty safe looking spot as long as there's no humans right below us, which there's not. What do we got? Nothing. All right, that's fine. So then, I want to keep you guys somewhat this way. I kind of want to protect against this direction. Um, I'm thinking there might be enemies that direction, so. Yeah, I imagine there's going to be something over here. I know there was a turret over there. We'll put you right here, even though I don't think that counts as cover. My giant robot friend. Uh... It gave the sound like he sees something, but he doesn't see anything. Oh, he sees that. Yeah, okay. I think we'll take Apophis this way, move it with him. Roger that. And we're probably going to go behind the big pillars next turn. Hopefully we can avoid like over here. seeing enemies. And we're fighting robots. Ugh, piss off game. <laughs> Oh, freaking heck. Yeah, we might as well move you over here. Ah! And McLean. I need you in a position to do something. I guess you're going to go back here. It's kind of disappointing, but... Alright, hopefully we don't get spotted. Kind of hoping they go this direction. I'm okay with this. Seventy-two, seventy-two. I don't think it's worth it to use this one. It does an extra two damage, and we are fighting probably the hardest thing we're gonna fight. But will the... I'm thinking we might overdrive, rocket, shoot, shoot. Or maybe we shoot, then rocket. That might actually be better. Um. Yeah, that's probably our best option. Let's see something before we get that far, though. Uh, ah, you can't actually see the tower. Well, let's look at it this way, then. Let's see if we hack this, what this gives us. Uh, he's, like... The sparks are too terrible at hacking that it's not going to be worth doing or attempting, but we might as well see what it offers us. So, um, soldier vision, eh, squad vision, eh, I don't think that's worth it, especially when that negative. I don't know, it'd have to be a really good percentage chance for that to happen. Okay. So who all will be in position? I think everyone will be in position. So here's my thinking. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead with Rook, and we're going to shoot at this guy. And we won't kill him, but we should hopefully do enough damage. But first we need to overdrive. Um, we got to remember to overdrive, shoot him. They'll react. They'll both go get behind full cover. The question is, we should be able to hopefully blow up their full cover and do damage to both of them. And that'll be number two, and then we can shoot with number three. And we're just going to be able to own the crap out of these guys, is my assumption. 
But we're going to wait because we're about at 20 minutes. And so I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. I'm trying to get back to where we're doing like one episode, a mission. And unfortunately, we're kind of not at that point right now. Um, this last episode just took so long. And I think this mission might just take too long too. But I think starting next episode, we should be back on a good time frame um, where we're not um, I'm spending so much time. Well, we're, we're able to finish the mission each episode, unless it's a longer one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely drop a comment. Um, go ahead, let me know what you guys think, and join the comments. Subscribe, show your support, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!